Good morning, guys. It's a very bright and sunny Monday. <sighs> and like, I, I stepped out of the house today, and uh, I realized it's just so quiet. It's a very, very quiet, more quiet morning. It's nice. I'm walking paper right now. Ever since what happened on uh, Friday night, Saturday morning, what with him being uh, outside all night, I've been like so worried <laughs> with him. Like, he seems to be acting normal now. Like, that first day, obviously, he was really exhausted. And, like, Saturday all day, he was really exhausted. And uh, he wasn't his hyper usual self. Like, hyper when you feed him and stuff. Could be because he got a stomach ache. He did get into a bag of garbage. So, uh, like, his, he is a dog that is ruled by food. Like, I think if he, someone built a teepee. Okay. I think that if he were, like, on his own, you know, he would be really obese. He would eat everything he saw. But yeah, like, since then, like, I haven't even wanted to let him outside to go pee. <laughs> like, I'm, I, or I, I've gone out with him and made him. Be careful, folks. We're just really lucky that the night that it happened on, it wasn't that cold. It was not nearly as cold as it is today. I'm back inside. So right now I am just, uh, I'm making my breakfast. Uh, I have some scrambled eggs with some mushrooms. Got my mushrooms all nice and chopped up right there. Mmm. Mushrooms. What up? Mmm. Breakfast is done. Yay. Some yummy scrambled eggs with mushrooms and some salsa on top. Because why not? Salsa makes everything so much tastier. Like, so much tastier. It's only like 20 calories for a tablespoon of salsa, so why not? Um, here's a little tip or trick for those who are trying to uh, diet slash eat healthier slash have more appropriate portion sizes. Eat off of a smaller dish because what you end up having, like I made two eggs with three mushrooms cut up and sauteed. And if I were to put that on a bigger plate, I would mentally, I look at it and I'm thinking, okay, that's not a lot of food. I'm still going to be hungry afterwards. But if you use a smaller plate, it looks like it's actually more food. And therefore you trick your brain into thinking that you've eaten a lot more food than what you did. Especially if you're like me who has um, somewhat of a food addiction. I have a serious food addiction. I always want to eat. Like I get boredom munchies all the time. I'm always hungry. And it's really hard. It's hard not to uh, crack and go in there and grab a, ba a bowl of chips and just sit there and eat. And it's difficult. You have to like really, I really have to evaluate, am I really hungry or am I just boredom munchies? And what I'll do is I'll get up and I'll go and do something around the house, like um, fold laundry or clean up the kitchen or something. And then that'll usually tell me afterwards if I'm bored or if I'm actually hungry. Because after you've been doing something, you the hunger will go away. That's just, just a little health tip there, if you wanted to know. So Jay's finally home, and we've made dub supper. I made supper. And this is it. Sausage and salsa. This is my version of Chipotle. Hi guys, so as you can see I am laying in bed now and just wanted to say goodnight because I realized that through these past, what has it been, two weeks now that I've, I've started doing this, at least, uh, that I never say goodnight, that I never say ta-ta for now. And 
I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Good morning, guys. Uh, I, I feel like I always do that. I'm like, always, good morning, guys. Uh, uh, I always have to, like, sigh about my morning. It's probably because I'm not a morning person. I don't like waking up really. But I need to start waking up earlier. I feel like I stay asleep too long. Even though it's only 9.30. Oh, it's 10 o'clock now. It's 10 o'clock now. Yeah. I've got a lot to do today. i got a celebrity dog. <laughs> he just had his morning cruddles. Uh, I've got to clean the house. I've got to film a couple of videos. I've got to edit the videos. Or at least mostly. Got to go do groceries. Got to pickle some jalapenos. Start the tacos for tonight because we're having Taco Tuesday. Hey guys, so I just wanted to um, say something real quick. I, uh, I just uploaded a picture to Facebook and Twitter. Um, it's basically two pictures that I've, I've put side by side. And it's the first is they are photos of my progress through my weight loss journey, so to say, so to speak. Um, the first one was taken in January of 2010, when I was almost 200 pounds, and the second one was taken just today, um, 2015, where I am at least 60 pounds lighter. It's been a really hard journey, and I struggle with it. Every day, I have to really evaluate: Am I like how how hungry I am? What I'm gonna eat? What I am actually eating? I really have to evaluate it and go: Is this really healthy for me? Not just is there some way I can twist it to being healthy? You know, like um, by you know, if you want to have chips, oh, chips have potatoes in it, and potatoes are vegetables, so I'm eating vegetables. That's healthy. No, like. I really, I really struggle with what I'm going to eat or my weight loss and those things because as I said before, I have a bit of a food addiction. Um, I love to eat. I love food. I love the taste of it. And yeah, so it's very, it's very difficult for me. And this has been a very long journey in like losing weight and whatnot and keeping it off. Like for me, it's not just losing the weight and trying to be healthier overall. It's keeping it off. It's maintaining my new healthy lifestyle and regimen and all that. And I'm not perfect. Like I, I mean, heck, I make I make sweet treats every single week. A cake, cookies, stuff like that. So yeah, I break. I end up having those things. And you know, sometimes I just want to order a freaking pizza or have burgers. You know, like. But we try and make them as healthy as possible when we do do it. Like we started making our own pizzas with a butternut squash or a squash and tomato sauce instead of just tomatoes. That way we're getting more uh, nutrients in there, adding tons of vegetables to the pizza. Um, you know, like I try and make things as healthy as I can for me so that I can still not feel like I'm losing out on all the delicious food that I love. And especially with me, I have a weakness for pizza. I love pizza, the cheese, the sauce, the dough. It's just so good. It hasn't been an easy thing or simple or overnight adjustment. Like I said, this has been over the past five years that this has happened and it all started very, very slowly for me. It all started with the tiniest adjustments just to my diet, you know, um, and just to my regimen, like going out for walks, you know, 20 minute walks at least twice a day, um, cutting out any sodas. I used to drink so much soda so much like pre things that were just packed full of sugar and then I really started paying attention to the um to the nutritional value on the back of something and I realized like even something like as nest tea you know it's got added sugar in it even if you get the one that's unsweetened there are sugar <laughs> as ridiculous as it is and they are packed full high of sodium which makes you retain water those little things that I started doing, you know, cutting out the pre-processed stuff, no more eating fast food whatsoever, unless it's like once a season, 
you know, I'll go to Wendy's and get a chicken burger there because I can't say no. And Wendy's aren't very accessible here. Like, it's not like I can just drive five minutes away and get to one. It's, it's quite an ordeal to go there. Like, you and you have a long time while you're driving there to change your mind and be like, this is not healthy. I'm not going to do this. Um, so yeah, it's, it started with the smallest changes in my diets, you know, switching from white breads to whole grains and wheat and, uh, less refined white things, you know, not having white sugar in my coffee, switching to brown sugar or raw sugar, even though I don't like raw sugar, um, or just cutting sugar out of my coffee altogether, switching from a uh, whole milk to 2% milk and then cutting back all the way to almond milk. Um, like doing those little changes in my diet has helped me so much and, uh, continues to help me. So that's, that's my little rant there about my work, my, uh, my diet and how I lost the weight. Plus, uh, working out consistently. I, you know, you guys see it. I try to go to the gym at least three times a week, um, for a minimum of an hour workout, because what I've heard is that the first 30 minutes of any workout is just weight maintenance, uh, so that you're not gaining weight and you're not losing weight. It's just maintaining what you already have. So the first 30 minutes of any workout, I just do that. And then the next 30 minutes is like me really trying to power through and kill those extra carbs and extra calories so that I can lose some weight and tone up and and you can't just go and do cardio. You need to do some toning as well so that you have the muscle. Uh, you gain muscle because you need muscle. So yeah, there's that. I'm by far not an expert. I'm just telling you what works for me and what has worked for me. And because everyone is different. Everyone needs something different um, to get the changes that they want. So I'm just telling you that. Rant over. Hi again, folks. I am about to go do some groceries. Yeah. Can I sleep, dog? What are you doing? There's the most adorable bulldog sitting in his owner's car. Look, you can't see him now got down but it was so cute he's like sitting there watching people go by ah. so I'm in the middle of making this video and I got a package woo I got a package man I got a package do you get a package no I got a I'm not the only one who gets excited when they get stuff in the mail. I thought this was coming in like another 10 days. Did not know it was going to be. If you're wondering, yes, we do have box openers in like every room of the house. This is from my madre. y'all didn't know my mom calls me pugs because of my nose. A memory card? Oh, she is. And the receipt day, in case this is not what I want. Deluxe kit. It's a camera. What? What? HD. Look at how sleek you look. 
Recording with the new camera. It looks a lot brighter on here. Well, I certainly hope it's an improvement. Is it an improvement? Can you see it's an improvement? See, am I on my face? It looks okay. Yeah, you're directly you're smack dab in the middle. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Thanks, oh, Mom. Funny. Thanks, Mom, for your camera. I'm so happy. <laughs> we have to send that to Laura Jean Grace now. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening to Against Me. Again. <laughs> so one day, I'm going to make a burger, a very big burger when I'm really free and hungry. And I'm going to make, I'm going to put the, the patty in between uh, two, uh, two waffles. Yeah. No shaking your head, that is genius. Genius. In case you didn't know it, what? it's taco night in our house. <gasps> what? Hey guys, so I am, <laughs> yeah, I just said that again. So I'm going to sign off for tonight. I've got to finish editing this vlog before tomorrow because I have a really busy day tomorrow and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any editing. So I need to get it up and ready to be launched. Um, Jay just got out of the shower and hopefully I will get to bed at a decent time. Hopefully. I'm so full of tacos. But I'm a happy full of tacos. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you like these videos, please please subscribe because we put them out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah, and thanks again, Mom, for the new camera. Love you. Bye.